Hi, this is Kerry with Multicopter Warehouse and the DJI Colorado store here in Centennial, Colorado. And we've been playing around with the new firmware for the Pocket 2. This is version 1.02.00.50, and it was released on December 5th. Has a couple of cool things about it and some things that you're probably just gonna wanna know uh, about them uh, just so you know what's going on. Well, the first is they added HDR video. Now that's available in 1080 mode, but not in 4K. Now, while this does give you a higher dynamic range, uh, there is a problem. And the problem is that it creates a crop factor of 1.7 times. So it really is gonna crop in on the image and with the small field of view that this thing already has, man, that, that's, a, that's a pretty tight crop. So a lot of people in the forums are a bit unhappy with that, but if you need that high dynamic range, well, it's available, just understand that it does come with a little caveat. Uh, the second one is added story mode to the touch screen. So you can actually enable the story mode by tapping on the screen and enabling that. Not something I use, but there are people who like the story mode uh, for whatever they want to do with it. The next one, and something a lot of people I think are gonna like, is audio in and out. So right now, uh, if you have the wireless microphone and the Pocket 2, there's really no good indication of the audio coming from the microphone into the Pocket 2. Well, with this firmware update, you can plug headphones into the jack here and monitor the audio coming from the wireless mic. Now this is a big, big thing for a lot of people to make sure that you're getting that audio coming across and that it's a good quality audio with a good signal. You do need to go into the settings and enable that, but it's a, that is a pretty darn good feature. Uh, very few of these small camera platforms have an audio monitoring function. So I think this one is super cool. Uh, in the MIMO app 1.58 or later, there's a new feature where you can download trimmed versions. Instead of having to download the whole video, you can download just a trimmed version of it, saving download time and space on your device. So that's kind of a pretty cool feature. Uh, there's a new feature to allow the ability to lock the gimbal when using the control stick. And there's a key combination on here and it's described in the notes, but it truly locks the gimbal. So if you're doing a, a long shoot and you want the camera to be perfectly still, you can lock the gimbal. Uh, otherwise, sometimes you might get a tiny amount of drift that you don't want when you're doing a long time lapse um, or just a very long shoot. You don't want any drift. You can lock the gimbal now. So. Thumbs up to that one. Uh, there's also the ability to choose the direction that the MIMO turns on, uh, <laughs> the, the direction of the camera when the camera turns on. So you can set it to either go forward or if you're always doing selfies, you can set it to always point towards you when you turn it on. So I think that's pretty cool. Uh, let's see, there's, they increase the time that the gimbal stays in position when you turn it off. So, you know, it goes into that storage position. Now it lasts longer to give you more time to get it into the holder. Now, one problem that I've had with the Pocket 2, specifically with the wireless microphone, is in certain situations, mostly shooting indoors. I have studio lights, I've got computers, I would pick up this really high pitched whine and it, it wasn't a background noise. It was some type of audio or electrical interference that was coming. Now they say that they've optimized the software and anti-interference of the wireless mic. And I did test this last night and it is much better. I did not detect any of that interference sound that I was getting before. So I'm quite happy now with using the Pocket 2 and the wireless mic in an indoor environment with other electrical devices. Now, I never had that problem outdoors, and I use the Pocket 2 a lot uh, outdoors. I do a bunch of trail videos and things, and 
never had a problem with it. Only indoors when I'm around a lot of electrical things. So if that was never an issue, well then it's not an issue for you. But if you did have that problem, then try this new firmware. I think you're gonna like it. Now they do say they fixed a few other bugs. They didn't mention what they were, but some other things have been fixed. So if you have the Pocket 2, I highly recommend this new firmware. It is 1.02.00.50. So just connect your Pocket 2 to the MIMO app, update the firmware, and you are good to go. But I think these new features are really, really cool. So thanks for watching, everybody. This has been Kerry with Multicopter Warehouse and DJI Colorado. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time. Bye-bye.